Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to talk about a fairly simple topic that is converting all type of documents to PDF. So for this, we are going to rely on Adobe PDF services. So I would tell you like how the documents would be converted and what type of uh, files and extensions are supported with it. So I've just opened one of my existing flow, which uh, where I'm using this Adobe PDF service to convert the files and uh, you can you may see like what extensions or the file types we can convert with the free Adobe PDF service doc docx ppt pptx xlx bmp gif J, jpeg jpg so all these are file types which we can directly convert into pdf so we can use other connectors as well like if we wish to convert but that would not give us a variety of conversion of this uh, I mean like there are a lot of types which we can directly convert with this PDF service into PDFs and it's uh, fairly like uh, simple to ask like uh, probably for business users where they would like to just upload few documents or bunch of documents in one go and would not like to go to each and every document to convert th them as in PDF so it's probably like uh, it's the right way it's a power automate way of doing this so they can just upload hundreds of files and uh, in a two or three minutes of time all the files are converted to pdf so job done so probably yeah it's fair simple and very quick topic so i'll just go to my flows i'll just give you like how you can do that you can create one instant flow i'm skipping the trigger so the trigger i would be using is when file is created so whenever somebody drops a file into sharepoint folder then that file should be passed on to the adobe uh, pdf service connector so i'm using this one sample library that is document for pdf conversion and in the next step so in the advanced you may skip it in next step you need to search for PDF service and we will be relying on the most trusted PDF services that is Adobe one and when you click on this you will find all these actions so there are many actions directly converting the uh, document to PDF and as vice versa as well like you can convert the uh, I mean like PDF pack to different type of versions so you may just need to find like convert your, your document so we can just find convert document to PDF preview. So this one we are going to use. And so in file name, I can just would be picking my encoded file name from this uh, dynamic content, which I, which I got from the previous tab. And file content would be file content for this file. And PDF converted name, you can just, uh, I mean, like if you would like to convert or use that uh, name as a different one then you can just type on your own otherwise you can just pick the existing one all right so in next step once this file is created so as you are using this connector for the first time you will be getting was uh, this option like creating the new connection so when i click on this create new connection so pro probably this could be a direct screen for you if you haven't used this adobe pdf service earlier so what how to fill out these entries from so it's very simple you need to just go to this adobe power automate get started over here if you click on this you will get this page so i have already signed in so that's why i'm directly uh, my account is already logged in so when you say like get started it will just give you one screen where you can just fill out credentials name so you can just fill out like your company or whatever uh, description and the name you would like, like to have then post that it will generate or give you a screen like this so where you would be seeing this client credential client id client secret and organization id so all these parameters which you may need to pass to your flow would be there so that's how it will create that that connection and it's free it's uh, nothing uh, to be required to purchase over here so i can just click on cancel because i already have this connector connection in place and in next step as this conversion happens i would like to create a file in sharepoint again 
so that I can upload this uh, PDF file. So I just choose my site again, the same one, but a different document library. So this time I'll choose the converted PDFs and file name. You can pick the file name from PDF action, the dynamic content and the PDF file content. So that's how this conversion will happen. So it's a fairly simple three step process, but it cut down a lot of manual work. So if you are a, a back office person where like you would like to upload many, many documents of different type images or docs or PPT and would like to convert them in PDF before sending it to client or stakeholders, then probably it's a right flow or simple flow for you where like it take care of the, all the conversion. So I'm saving it and let's run it. So it's giving me one warning. Why that's so because I'm creating this file again. So I'm creating when a file is triggered and creating a file. So this parameter automate is smart enough to just like I'm doing the same step. So that may come into infinite loop, but we are doing in different folder paths. So we are good over here. So we can just ignore this warning and then can go back to my flow. So let me just run this flow. I'll just drop one docx in my this PDF conversion library and then wait for that file to be converted. So I've just dropped one document over here and I'll just wait for my flow to run. Okay, so my flow ran successfully. I would be just going to my library to see I got that PDF converted or not. So it's converted PDF I got. If I just open it, it will give me this open PDF. And simple process and very useful too. So I think like uh, that's it for today's video and next video will be coming up with a new topic. If you like the video, if it helps you out, then please do subscribe and drop your comments. Thank you.